how confident are you to really uh, not hold the steering wheels and then like do something else? Not not trying to bash Proton, but it's definitely better than the stock. <laughs> Do you drive every day? Okay, like to work like two hours per day or one one hour twenty minutes. Eh? Hey actually then quite my because my office before is Kia Long. I go from the Eco Arden side uh -huh. and then like pretty much no jam. Whatever time even six six thirty seven is no jam. Man. Then you install combo assist for what? <laughs> I mean like, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, yeah lah. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. What is the the main use case for you? Or, or are you the type where you always just try to turn it on every single time you have the chance to? Yes and no. The thing is like, you see, as a context, right? When you are like a... IT professionals or you are just like on demanding job right that you cannot run away from distractions so not like encouraging people to use their smartphone but at least like when you have to put your phone on loudspeaker answering the call put on the loudspeaker right so I think this is where like you take it takes away focus from you so even like uh, for a split second right mm -hmm. so this i feel like where uh, assisted driving actually helps a lot so you still have to maintain your lane while driving and while, uh, while also uh, answering some calls or even like something like this right we are talking in the car mm -hmm. then it does take away uh, from 100% of your focus while driving so I feel this is where assisted driving really helps uh, in ensuring the safety of uh, myself and also the other road users. Mm. So it's not like, so it's not like uh, in a fixed scenario, like for example, traffic jam, long distance. It's more on like on ad hoc basis, like, like what you mentioned just now, like, like when you think that you need to do some, like maybe have more convenience i would put it that way then you will you will you will use the system okay 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 but then but then at that same moment of time right when you are doing that how confident are you to really uh, not hold the steering wheels and then like do something else not not trying to bash proton but it's definitely better than the stock <laughs> It's definitely better than the stock assisted driving, which, uh, yeah, I think all the S50 users so know lah. Is it meant to like assist you, right? It's not meant to uh, give you that complete confidence. So in a way, like you feel the needs to have a control over your car. So I think with uh, Como Assist, this is where uh, you do have more confidence. Like I would say, like easily uh, 90 95 percent of what it capable to do lah. So. You need to say you know at that point like what will be the behavior of the system right right i have 90 95 confidence on what it is capable to do because uh sometimes when talking to a friend i find like they will ask each other oh, so can sleep lah. you know so <laughs> it's not meant to do that so yeah. you don't have that confidence to like let it go until you can actually sleep on the highway or what yeah so it's not that kind of use case right uh -huh. so of what it capable to do for example like giving you a peace of mind while driving on the highway so i feel confident enough to just let it uh do its thing on while, the highway yeah while still monitoring the system and be ready to take over mm. Mm. i think it's very important uh for people who start using the autopilot uh yeah. to not treat it as a replacement but is something that you should uh, be responsible for right yeah so why it makes your life easier and you also have to take certain responsibility lah. so what uh, they say uh, with great power comes great responsibility the spy spider-man <laughs> yeah okay okay then if let's say you see you are so 
confident, right? 90 to 95% confident. Mm -hmm. What about in terms of safety? Like, do you think that after installing this system make the whole driving become safer or, or less safer? How big is your concern and yeah? I think safety wise uh, for any technology also it is a double edged sword. For example, if you're controlling the car, right, it, you you have your complete control correct. But when you let the AI do for you, what are you doing in exchange for that time, right? So that it frees up your time, but what, what do you do? So if you actually being distracted with other things, I think it's also not safe. No matter what things are driving you, but it will still put your life and other people at risk. But if you take the time to be attentive and appreciate your surroundings even more. Mm. So like for example, I'm I'm the type of guy who if we are we both of us are traffic like mm. you part next to me I wouldn't recognize you because I will just focus on what's on the road and yeah. I won't really have time to uh like look around like oh see there's a bird you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. so that kind of thing uh, which I couldn't appreciate before. So now, for example, like when I'm turning on right now, okay. so I, I can read. <laughs> you can read the sign <laughs> the Yeah, which is something that I don't bother to do also before. It's like that is true. I just think of oh, oh, lorry or car or motor, you know. Mm. But at least this one, I know I'm in the right lane, and it, the system do what it's supposed to do, and at least I can appreciate where I'm going and appreciate the right. Uh. Mm. To prove that you really trust the system, I'm just trying to like, you know, ask like how, mm. yeah, what is the like furthest distance or what is the furthest, uh, longest time that you have with Komu Assist on? Yeah, letting it drive for you. I think been a user for about half a year now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, been to Kwantan, been to Bangkok. Uh, the experience like driving to Kwantan, for example, I can actually let it drive through Kenteng Sempah. Wow. And Karak. Oh, yeah. Karak? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think that's only for disclaimer, that's only for X50 <laughs> <laughs> because of the steering. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, that, uh, but also, this is something that could never be achieved on the stock system, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So, yes, car model do play important role there. So, that's what I do when traveling around Kara Highway. Uh, I don't sit behind lorry, uh, mm. but usually uh, middle lane or sometimes the left lane, uh, there's a like uh, very SUV or 4x4, you yeah. know, like very experienced driver. Yeah. And I, I just uh, maintain that's a long bit. follow. Take a long time, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. By the way, uh, guys, now we are. I think. I think. Uh, I don't know if you have an angle, but then yeah, now we are cruising with Combo Assist on the Federal Highway. Yeah, we are going to uh one of the LRT station at Subang where you know um Shane, our X fifty user, usually you know um commute to and then park his car there and then he will take the public transport to work. So, um, it might not be a long stretch to his workplace but then I believe with Komo Assist definitely helped him to um, you know relax a bit and then um, settle a bit of like work stuff before he enter the office that kind of yeah. stuff you know yeah so it's not to Komo Assist is not here to let you sleep for the extra 20 minutes <laughs> it, yeah it's, it's here to like maybe you know help you chill out your drive and all okay so um when we talk about legality, I, I'm sure that you have like maybe fetch friends around with the system here and then like some guys ask you, hey, why why is it so different than the stock one where you you can you know you can let the system handle uh the driving hands free and then um it won't just suddenly deactivate all these kind of like scenarios but then um do you get your friends to like ask you um how legal is it like this kind of system like when people sit tell that hey this kind of stuff is illegal how how would you respond to that actually as a as a user right i think this kind of question uh do you even care <laughs> of 
force <laughs> uh, I do care about the movie <laughs> I, I'm a law abiding citizen <laughs> But Okay Joke aside I think Like this kind of question Of legality Of uh, self-driving system Is mm-hmm. uh, I get a lot more In like a community Who actually aware Of such The thing You know mm-hmm. Like uh, For normal user They were concerned Like about this car You know mm-hmm. Just cut yeah. it off And then It's like Can it break on time yeah. So this kind of uh, Different uh, Friends With different background uh, Different technical Aspect or so Like yeah. Will ask this kind of question Right So Back to the legality Of this um, I feel Like um, As for now Is still Put the responsibility On you Right So if you Technically it's illegal lah, Right mm. To drive without Your hands on mm. The wheel Then That Takes like uh, Accountability Back to the users Instead of the system mm. So whatever system you use You can have Like a lot of system But Eventually The responsibility Is still in your hand You the one who Activate the system You are the one who In the car Actually sitting in the driver's seat If something goes wrong it will be on you Right mm. So That Being said uh, Yeah I feel like they, The legality part uh, Whenever I got asked about this That's what I would have Been telling people So you tell people that It's You want to use You have to kind of Deal with the Whole Let's say if Kena roadblock the <laughs> Police <laughs> have, you, have you experienced that before Or usually when like, you go to roadblock Then you're just like have your hands around he, Yeah uh, I think definitely right Because yeah. you still have to take control Then when Come to Roblox uh, You switch it off lah. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you think There is any room For explanation With the police officer If let's say They really see that Hey You Driving hands <laughs> free Like like, like Yeah like, like, Do you think There is a room For explanation lah? Um, There definitely is because Wait what, what would you say Okay. How would you How would you even argue with the police? So for one, I would say it's a stop assisted driving, lah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right. I mean, this is something that the yeah, built in all the cars now it. almost have it, right? And if they can put it in, so technically the stop proton also will be able to just like hands free and still yeah. driving, right? Yeah. I mean, like in Komu, yes, we try to we try to follow the guidelines. Uh, craft drafted by the the, the, the the so-called my autonomous vehicle committee my AV committee in in Malaysia so they are like a uh, body a committee formed by Ministry of Transport like uh, JPJ and we have a guideline which is at version 5 now so yeah all we can tell people is uh, before that guideline turns into a policy we follow that guideline so uh. yeah so um, if let's say people say illegal or illegal then you know, for us, Komu as a as a as an industrial player in this autonomous vehicle space, yeah, that's the best answer that we could give. But then, actually, yeah. it is true that, like you mentioned, that maybe the the car built-in system already have this kind of things. Where, yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, so I think that also, um, uh, we welcome discussions definitely you know yeah like if you guys i mean like if you guys are watching this video and you guys are thinking that uh uh uh, uh what else like what if you guys have scenario a b c d e f then you guys i think you guys can throw out and then we can just discuss together yeah so yeah that's join on the discord. <laughs> yeah join the discord uh shane he is there very active he can answer you most of the questions for for technical side yeah yeah active active uh member okay so um okay that's more on the legality side um warranty actually we have like main four questions you know people will ask us car insurance yeah car warranty <laughs> legality and safety okay. <laughs> so we talk about safety we talk about legality I mean, we don't have like a yes or no answer, right? Yeah. Yeah, but then, yeah, so on car warranty, what do you think? Like, do you think that uh, uh, it's worth to actually install this kind of system, uh, aftermarket system, and then like maybe have a risk of having a warranty? So, okay. I mean, politically correct answer, lah, huh? Uh. So, <laughs> I feel warranty 
is uh, uh, very important <laughs> as a counter. Okay. And it, uh, you definitely don't want something that is permanently modified, right? Mm. So I think that's the keyword there mm. because uh, there. Are, Warranty even for a standard car with, without the assisted driving or everything, right? You just using a standard car. It's still a very subjective. Uh, you can join any car group. You can read about how many claims has been uh, denied because of something uh, as simple as an installation of power boot, you know, all this kind of thing. So. Uh, I don't want to comment on that so I think that leave it to uh, the manufacturer and the user themselves lah, mm. to figure it out right mm. but as for me personally I find it like uh, I'm comfortable enough of using it uh, given there is no overriding of the original system so as a matter of fact even we are cruising now this the original system are still functioning yeah. as it should yeah so and it does not push the car to the limit it, as a matter of fact it actually en enhance the safety even more mm -hmm. so i don't see the reason why it could void the warranty uh, okay. but yeah i think this is a part like uh we leave it to that lah, huh? yeah <laughs> we leave it there yeah, huh? yeah. So, i like the point that how you put it like we are not overriding your 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 your, your firmware, mm. so it's still uh technically it's a plug and play thing mm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> plug plug and play very funny words, uh, Really? So get... I, because, <laughs> yeah. because I, some yeah. okay, we know that some guys they really some product brands they say that okay we are like really plug and play, but then that plug and play product really got some people to get their car warranty voided right i think i've heard stories yes. like that so that's why i said that the the word of warranty and the plug and play all this um very very subjective and it depends on whether the uh, uh sc want to like honor their claim mm -hmm. so yeah even something like i also saw some accessories that mm -hmm. actually literally like taking out wires and stuff it is still plug and play <laughs> so that is the part I feel like mm, plug and play yeah but all oh, you know but I think back to the device itself yeah. it is uh, plug and play it just uh, really no complicated wiring yeah, yeah no wire cutting so which is something I find it uh, Comfortable enough like even for a normal user, non-technical user so uh, for me maybe I'm more comfortable because I'm quite technical mm -hmm. but for even for someone that is not technical enough, I think it can be easily understood. Yeah. So okay, I think I think um, um we are nearing to the you know the LRT station already. So if let's say for one feature, Shane, like one feature that you think that is the most worthy feature after installing Combo Assist, what would it be? I think the the ability to smoothly brake is very important okay. uh, for any assisted driving as well. Stock or aftermarket, I feel like if actually without a smooth braking system, uh -huh. people will feel not Scary. safe yeah it's n yes you don't hit people but people will hit you from the back right? <laughs> so this is something i find like uh uh common is like really excel in this part mm -hmm. and it uh, really gives me a confidence to in even in a jam i'm not scared that it was like jam break you know like okay. oh this kind of thing yeah. one thing that you think um that can be improved like it's the product thing community support after sales support i think for something so simple like the app mm. so be able to actually uh probably using the system as a dash cam mm -hmm. yeah so this is uh will be a good thing um probably like retrieve back the data yeah. right yeah. to see like where have you been mm -hmm. so that thing definitely is all out there already so i think over the time have you tried uh, the app? The app? Yeah. Uh, I cannot even log in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now you, 
You using iOS or Android? Android. I think now you can log in already. Oh, so it works yeah. already now? Now it works already. We have like a latest version update, so you can try and then you can let us know also. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, we have reached the destination. So um, thanks a lot for having Shane with here today, a Proton X50 flagship owner. And it's also a six months Commerce user. So um, yeah, we are doing this kind of like interviews hopefully we can do more with our users to you know like really um, 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 understand uh, how they use the system and also what kind of benefits they um, find using the system so then you guys can you know understand more because sometimes it's very hard for us to tell people what is lane keep assist what mm. is um, adaptive cruise control and you know in the spec sheet of all the new car models they just put there oh lane keep assist yes. take mm. uh, um, 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 adaptive cruise control take yeah but what is the level of the smartness why are why are people still you know getting combo assist installed in their car although they already have those features built right. in so I think that can only be um, um, told to the through the stories of our real users la. Mm -hmm. yeah so i think that's the objective of this whole um um um, um, um interview here yeah okay um thank you guys see you around bye